Kashmir is Parvati. So said Lord Krishna in the Neelmat Puran. And perhaps that is why collective memory, cultural history, folklore tells us of the Kul Devis, the Matrikas, the Shaktis. In fact, all the myriad manifestations of the mother goddess which reside in the gurgling brooks, sparkling rivers and lofty peaks of this land to nurture and to protect. Myth or legend? But the truth also is that always and even in its darkest hours, women in Kashmir have been its guiding light, nurturing and protecting. That's why I say that my hair is down to the Kashmiri women. They do so much suffering, but they do so much work, and they do so much work, and they are very good with each other. They are not communal, they are not fundamentalist. Traditionally, for centuries, socially and culturally, women in Kashmir have been nurtured in freedom and equality. In our house, there was no need for us, and the poor women were not Muslim. In Kashmir, there was no need for us. As a child, I never remember seeing a woman with a covered face. Which, once militancy suddenly erupted, made it even more difficult for them to accept the diktats of foreigners who demanded invisibility and subservience from women. In our Islam, there is no such thing that there is so many people that we have to live in the same way. The new demand is that we have to go with it. Yes, we have to keep our culture and our culture. We have to keep our culture. We have to keep our culture. They defied these diktats as best as they could, working to sustain their children, families, themselves and society. इसमें कोई मुझे शर्मंदगी नहीं है। शर्मंदगी उन चीजों से है कि किसी के आगे हाथ फैला उसमें शर्मंदगी है, किसी के आगे झुक जाओ वो शर्मंदगी है। मुझे नहीं लगता अपने पैरों पे खड़े होके खुद काम करना इसमें कोई शर्मंदगी है। चाहे फिर लोग कुछ भी बोलें। ये बातें जो लोग कहते आ रहे हैं, ये तो कहते आ भी रहे हैं और कहते रहेंगे। ये जरूरी है कि औरतें आज आएं बिजनेस में, ट्रेड में आएं और अपने आप को मनवाएं जिस तरह उन्होंने और फील्ड्स में मनवाया है। Bravely taking a stand against all odds, even if they belong to a minuscule minority. Iron butterflies is how one Westerner described Indian women. Soft, gentle and beautiful on the outside, but with steel running inside as they nurture, protect and sustain themselves and their own. और इस वक्त टाइम की डिमांड है कि हम काम करें ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा काम करें ताकि हम भी तरकी याफ़ता मुल्कों के साथ एक लेवल पे आ जाएं हम पीछे नहीं रहें दूसरे कामों की तरह हम भी आगे जाएं चाहे मुझे कोई इसके लिए इजाज़त ना दे या ना दे लेकिन मैं इसमें सेटिस्फाई हूँ कि मैं किसी हद तक किसी को हेल्प कर रही हूँ मैं शायद मुझे अल्लाह ताला ने ये सलाह है दी है कि अपने रोजगार के साथ साथ मैं दूसरों का रोजगार भी ढूंढ सकती हूँ या दे सकती हूँ Across India, women live up to this reputation every day of their lives. Women in Kashmir are no exception. <laughs>